like say you have like a cold sandwich that you make yourself because you're like tired of whatever, right? And it's just like a right. normal bread sandwich with like whatever and filling. What does adding a cold slice of cheese to it improve the sandwich on you on on average for you? Is the sandwich supposed to be cold, or is yeah, it like, is it... Or, or is it like is it like a cold cut like sandwich, or has it or has it gone cold? Yeah, no, this is a cold cut sandwich. Oh yeah, absolutely. Then yeah, cheese. absolutely. Yeah. As long as it's particularly probably not Swiss, because Swiss doesn't really add much flavor. It has like an aftertaste. Twist. Yeah, but it's totally much more worthwhile if you melt a Swiss. That's true. That is true. But yeah, well, I feel like I feel Swiss. like I yeah. feel like under almost all circumstances, adding a cold slice of cheese to a cold cut sandwich improves it, yes. Yeah. Okay. Unless it's like or something. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I was just thinking that, yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah butter no. and jelly. Cause Slap like, that cheese on there. P, B, and C. Because I'm, realize, I'm realizing that, like, there's a lot of sandwiches that I haven't liked, and it's specifically because I personally find both the taste and texture of cold cuts of cheese revolting. Really? really? That's interesting. It tastes, oh, it you, feels do like... Do you like warm cheese? I like cheese when it's melted. So like nachos and stuff. Yeah. Nachos are acceptable. I usually don't like cheese that's really yellow or like cheddar basically. Um, okay. Oh, cheese, okay. Like more white cheese. Because yeah, I was gonna go into it and say, well, Swiss kind of has that rubbery texture, so I kind of get it. But like cheddar is much more softer. But you've just said you don't like yellow cheeses, so. Cheddar's got got a sharp taste. Well, if you yeah. get sharp. Cheddar. It has. I, realized... I was say cheddar. Cheddar, regardless, has a distinct taste, so I understand that. I'm realizing that, because, like, I I like, okay, so do any of you know, like, the average menu for, like, a Lee sandwiches? Uh, you've talked about it before, I don't know it, though. Lee sandwiches is Vietnam basically only fast food chain, quote-unquote, where they sell Vietnamese sandwiches. And, like, um, their menu consists of, like, you know, like, fucking roast beef or, like, uh, like, a roast pork or shredded beef, shredded pork, shredded chicken. Um, but there's two sandwiches there that I despise. One of them is super Vietnamese, and one of them is super American. Uh, and okay. so, so like, all the ones that are in the middle of that, where they're like, this is not a Vietnamese trademark, or this is not something made to appeal to Americans. Everyone, everything in between there I like, but the one that's, that I despise is called, it's made of hen cheese, which is not cheese, it's just the congealed amalgam of all the stuff that is in a pig's head. Oh. Oh, I think I've heard of this before. Yeah. It's okay. disgusting. Uh, and the other one that I despise is their cold, like, it's this beautiful baguette bread with just like cold ass, like pink, like Lunchables ham and like plastic ass cheddar cheese. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah, no. that's not. I was gonna say that's just your that's just your quintessential like ham and cheese, but sounds awful. <laughs> it's... Yeah. It's truly not good, and like I just had the sandwich for that my mom got, and it was the, it was one of two only sandwiches on the menu that I despise. <laughs> I like all the other sandwiches because they're delicious, but like those two are disgusting to me. <laughs> do people like ham and cheese? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I if do, it's yeah. good. I'm about to say, oh, I, can't, high quality. I can't. I can't think of the last time where I had a bad ham and cheese. But for me in particular, I feel like that's because the like ketchup mayo like topping that I get on it really helps accentuate where the ham and the cheese both lack, and that's like zing. You know what I mean? Because yeah, like I ketchup like and mayo mixed is real good. Ketchup but... and mayo should just like you guys I don't, don't have ketchup mayo I... and mustard. Fuck Ooh, that! Yeah. That's disgusting. You guys don't like mixed mustard? together. Yeah. You have you have ventured too far from God. <laughs> well, you have to be really careful because even when like, you, you venture too far from God, yeah, you'll get smited. Oh my gosh, you don't take any risks, Zach. Oh, man. Was, what are oh, you goodness. talking about? Get your fucking hedonism out of my fight. We're just talking about sandwiches. Yeah, and mustard can be a, a variable in a sandwich. I just, I'm just exactly. saying, I'm just You're... saying, if you want to piss off our Lord and Savior that much, just fucking oh, flip off the sky until you get that, struck by uh, lightning. That Zach that only have, uh, was it mustard with hot dogs that they abhor? Ketchup, what are you going to tell them? 
Wait, here's what do you mean? here's, Sorry, I didn't here's hear a the question I have for you. I know that there's. I can't remember which state it is, but they do not eat ketchup with their hot dogs. They only eat mustard. That's totally oh, fine. No, 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 no. Don't don't <laughs> misunderstand me. You are allowed to mix at most two con uh, condiments together. Excuse me. If you go that beyond move? that, you can have that you have strayed too far from okay, what is true. Okay. Then mayo, mayo and mustard. That's fine. You're allowed okay. to do that. You're wrong, and then but I'll you're put allowed to do that. Ketchup on the bottom. And then I'll put ketchup on the no, bottom. No, that's you're mixing. <laughs> I'm not mixing. Though. You are, and not only ketchup are you mixing. Ketchup on the side. That's I'll well. I'll just dip my burger. You're. You you are venturing <laughs> in dangerous waters, sir. It's okay. If you do like... this, if you do, and Adrian, I'll let you talk in a second. If you do this knowingly and willingly, you will be crucified. I just want you to know this. Well, I don't know what I'm eating for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Here's just my question. Just ketchup and mayo and mustard. Here's my question, Throw all right? relish in there, you fucking monster. Have you sure. guys... How? When's the last time you guys have had a sandwich where, like, it was worse than some of its parts? Where you would rather have had some of the ingredients separate from each other than the sandwich itself? When's the last I, time you had that? I actually have an answer to this, but I want to see if anyone else does first. Because for uh, me, that was like 30 minutes ago when I had that sandwich. I was like, man, that's like that. <laughs> that's like that. Well, see, that's when only if you don't have control of what the ingredients are inside. Normally, I just like get the cold cut and I have like the cheese and I just make it at home. So I don't have any problem with anything. So. Because like I just had that baguette sandwich and it was like, man, this baguette and this roast beef are amazing. But this like gross ass plastic cheese that they bought for like 50 cents a slice is horrible oh hell no yeah see that's just bad quality okay anything regardless of what it is if it's sucky quality will probably not improve any dish i would like to say that in answering this question i have had a sandwich that i can remember off the top of my head where the where it was less than the sum of its parts and that was when uh, I was going through a particularly rough time. This was like a long while ago, back when I was still living with my parents. And my dad was like, you know what? Let's do what I do when I'm like in a rough spot. And it's like, oh, okay, let, you know, whatever. And so we watched like a few movies and we went out to go get like a glass bottle of Coke, which Grant knows I still do now when I'm having a rough time. But True. then the third thing, and we finished off the evening with this, was that he was like, all right, go downstairs. I'm going to bring you a sandwich, and you're going to eat it without looking at it because you're going to eat it in the dark because I need you to trust me. And I was like, okay. And so I hear him making some stuff. I hear some clattering of cutlery. He comes back downstairs, and he's like, here you go. Eat this. And I was like, okay. I ate it and almost immediately vomited. And I was like, what the fuck was this? And he was like, well... It's peanut butter, bologna, oh, no. horseradish oh, on potato bread. That sounds like something I'd make. Yeah, oh, exactly. it does. Yes, it does actually. Isn't that actually isn't actually that bad in certain contexts? But the horseradish. It was oh, just yeah, yeah. like 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 I asked him like years later, what the fuck was that, and like how can you possibly stomach this when you're upset? And he was like, well, it was the it was the thing that his grandfather would make him when he was young, when he was having like a rough time. So I'm Aww. pretty sure it had like an emotional resonance with him. But I'm here to tell you And you just dumped on <laughs> There was like 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 I like I almost vomited onto the carpet in the basement because there was like nowhere to escape. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I couldn't like I couldn't like I couldn't focus on the bologna because then there was peanut butter right there and it was like that's just I don't like that. And then I couldn't escape, like, beyond that because it was surrounded by horseradish. And then eventually I, like, try to cram everything to one side of my mouth and just enjoy the potato bread. But the potato bread was spongy, and it just fucking absorbed the essence of everything can, at once. It was disgusting. Can, can I ask, how far down your, like, digestive system did the sandwich make before you rejected it? Oh, no, I ate the whole thing. What? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> what you? Because my dad made it, and it meant a lot to me. I really appreciated that my dad was trying. What if you bit but into it? Never what if I bit into it and it was a landmine? <laughs> no, it was just three slices of bread. Oh! <laughs> that's, that's, that's called a toast sandwich. That's what the British yeah. people make. Yeah. I know. Twitch. Oh. Anyway. But yeah, I, think that's I will highlight this whole conversation later because I think this was a good conversation. 
All right. Sandwich All right. Geek. All right. This Mojang should beef? this should be the oh. this should be the last. I don't know how I got that. This should be the last part for a bit, right? <laughs> Probably. Hopefully. Yeah. Because we're gonna do this, and then I have some other stuff lined up, and you guys can join me or not if you. Russian you roulette. Want, but... Wow. <laughs> yes, digital Russian roulette. <laughs> <laughs> Bang. Uh, All right. Uh... All right, way. this is the picture I drew two years ago. The flash of lightning was so bright, all I could see were shadows. But how do you know that these people are the people? I'm slowly going to transition to the John Mulaney. <laughs> Don't transition to John Mulaney. <laughs> After that, I must have fainted. This God picture shows exactly what I saw in that instant. You know, like a liar. <laughs> to think a flash of lightning could burn such an image in your mind. <laughs> wait, wait, you that'd know, be, that would like be a, a great... Get John Mulaney to, like, voice fucking, uh... Fuck, what's his name? The deadbeat friend? Oh, oh Larry. Larry Bus. Yeah, get him to, get him to uh, voice Larry. And, like, in those early ones where he's, like, telling something and then he just totally, like, says something that's not true. And then he just, mm -hmm. like, winks at... <laughs> winks at Phoenix and he's like... You know, like a liar. <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> Thanks to that, though, she was able to show us exactly what she saw. Well, I don't see any contradictions here. Judge, fuck off! This clearly shows Joe Dark about the murder prosecutor near Marshall. No, it shows two silhouettes. <laughs> but they're both dark. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. Press. <laughs> Emma! <laughs> you can't draw! <laughs> You're um, a scientist! You can't draw! That's bullshit! I can do that if I'm a double threat. I think I drew it two or three days later. Advancing too far in one skill tree locks off the other ones from you. <laughs> yes, this is deal. You can only spec into one class. At first, I was in such a state of shock that I couldn't do anything. During that time, the investigation was reorganized. Oh, uh, uh, or Grant, or anybody who's familiar. You remember the skill tree from Path of Exile? I played uh, that game for like 30 minutes and gave up on it. I don't remember why, though. It's a really good game. Uh, yeah, d dude, first off, look up the skill tree, because it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I just got to it. <laughs> I do remember this. It's literally, I it, it literally like you can you can post it in the Discord so other people can follow along. But it literally yeah. just looks like the night sky connected by squiggly lines. Like that's what the skill tree looks like. And you yeah. always start from the center, and uh, the the initial like node that you pick off the center will lead you on this really long path that eventually allows you to get to the rest of the skill tree. Right. So. I think you. I think if you wanted to get every skill point, you have to get to like level 1,000 or something like that. But anyway, um, in the latest expansion, they added uh, oh, like wow. this weird system where at the very edge of the entire skill tree, I guess you would describe it as like a portal because it's literally like you start investing points in this like nonsensical outside ring. And then you're allowed to just travel along the ring to the opposite end of the skill tree and just skip stuff. So, like, for example, um, uh, the mate or the sorcerer class is exactly opposite to the duelist class, right? Like, the people that use the, the, the scepter or the, the rapiers and stuff. With the new expansion, you can just become super early in the game a sorcerer duelist. And holy shit, does it fuck up the game. I have no idea why I thought of this, but I just wanted to share it because I thought it was cool. We mentioned skill trees and how you can't be a scientist and an artist at the same time. Oh, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> That'd be it. Detective Goodman was placed in charge under the direction of Damon Gant and Lana Sky. Two or three days later. The memory should still have been fresh in her mind. Excuse me, witness. But can you please tell us why this picture is painted all black? <laughs> <laughs> Those, that's kind of clever. 
them like asking a question that leads into her testimony again. They've been getting more creative, I feel, with this case. Well, I, I, well, because this case was made like much after, right? So I'm assuming that well, they yeah. had a lot more practice. But yeah, it's definitely a lot better. I will say that like um, Zach and obviously a lot of other players have had issue with the fact that a lot of times the prosecutor is just like, but can you prove it? I feel like in Ace Attorney 5, and this could be my bias because I usually like these games even though without, but I feel like Ace Attorney 5, they do a, a lot less of that where the prosecutor is actually like, well, no, this seems like more likely probable. This is the evidence why. Well, because like that's a like I feel like that's and and once again I don't actually know this, but like people often say that this is supposed to be a bastardization of like the Japanese court system and the American court system, and there's like and like the main thing in the American court system is the idea of reasonable doubt, where it's just like you don't have to fucking show footprints of the person walking through like you don't have to have like a camera footage of them doing the murder in order to convict them you just need to make it like beyond a reasonable doubt which we've done a lot and then von karma will be like you can't look at my shoulder fuck you <laughs> you know what i mean I, it's like I, oh my god i will also say it helps that Ace 25 they set up the prosecution without spoiling it, so that the prosecution is a position where it, where he literally cannot prepare witnesses or like falsify evidence. He literally is capable of that, hmm. compared to other prosecutors. So at the time, you didn't even know it was Mr. Marshall who had come to your rescue. <clears throat> no, I couldn't see him clearly. The lightning was so bright. And I was knocked to the floor. Knocked to the floor? Dark had a tight grit on... Bleh, 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 bleh. But when Mr. Marshall jumped on him... Lone Star jump. I was knocked away. Lone Star knock away. <laughs> I turned around, and that's when the lightning flashed. Good flash! I mean, uh, I'm not here. Um... Thunderclap flash. Poor Emma. I'm just glad she wasn't hurt. What happened after the lightning flashed? Did you faint, little bitch? I mean, you didn't see the actual murder take place? No, I I'm sorry. The flash of lightning only drove off the darkness for a split second. Not only that, but the trauma of the situation understandably caused the witness to faint. Do you really need to torture this girl any further? What? Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. It's that guy, points at Gant. <laughs> oh. Anyway, this picture... Is that guy points at Convarma? Uh, what are you talking about, Phoenix? Yes, Chief Gant is not evil. He said so himself. He, yeah, con he continuously assures me that he is not evil. <laughs> I mean, bad people can't invite others to swimming pools. Exactly. <laughs> Much like how Edgeworth can't enter my office unless I ask him to. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sorry for asking so many times, but are you sure you drew exactly what you saw? Of course. This is the exact scene. If it's the exact scene, why is he holding a square thing and not a knife? It wasn't influenced in any way from your talks with the detectives. Are you insinuating we somehow manipulated her <laughs> memory, Mr. Wright? <laughs> no, no. Of course not. Just because we have telepathy doesn't mean we can manipulate memories. <laughs> oh, I better watch out or you might find some way to cut my salary. You don't get a salary. You get paid on a per job basis. <laughs> I drew this picture before I heard anything from the detectives. So I didn't think anyone's story would have influenced me. Mr. Wright, is there something that's bothering you about this picture? Yes. Yes. Oh well, that's strange. She claims this is exactly the scene that was imprinted in her mind. And yet, there's clearly a contradiction here. Wait, do I have to present it? I Probably. Guess. I think I have to present something that contradicts the picture itself. 
not just the picture itself. It's actually the knife, and it's like, why is it square? Watch that actually. Well, I answer. mean, is it? I don't Maybe. know, man. Because oh, yeah, he I has it. Because he has a. Because he has a switchblade, right? And like, oh, sure, yeah. it looks it looks like relatively square here, but that's because the blade has been broken off already. I mean, this would only corroborate the fact that, like, oh, it was square at the time, so I think that would be a contradiction. Wait, did we already contradict her saying he was stabbed in the chest? We tried yes, to, and that's, why, and that's oh. why, and that's why I fucking lost health. Yes, <laughs> which was Bullshit. a pretty BS move on the game's part, I will say. I want my health back. <laughs> Give I don't it know. Back. I kind of want to present this. I don't Go think. Go for it. All okay, right. Well. Well, because well, because remember they said that the they said that the tip of the blade broke off inside the victim, which was like the piece of evidence that was left behind. But this is before this picture was before he got stabbed. So why Screw would it. the tip? So why would the tip be flat? I guess. Do we have anything else that would do that? I mean, screwdriver. Was that's that from a really? That's from a past case, though. Right, yeah. but then why? Like, does it have to do anything with this? Maybe it does. I don't think so. Do we have gonna, like I'm a gonna, I'm gonna, Okay, fine. Let's look at the picture. Uh, no, if you have, if you have, oh, like, if you have believe it's like that, just do it. Yeah, sure. Is yeah. there anything else though? Because there's not. Because like, the thing halfway. is that there's no there's no details <laughs> in this picture. Do we not have like his autopsy report? I mean, it we have his like autopsy report. Useful. Okay. Stabbed in the back. Never a puncture the heart and lung. A knife. <laughs> well, we saw how well presenting this went last time, so. Well, <laughs> so I'm, gonna, uh... I'm presenting this. All right. Fair enough. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Shit. All right. Your health is mine! No! <laughs> Every time you get a penalty, the judge de-ages two years. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've become stronger. All What's right. her last statement? Is there anything this after this? No, statement. it's not. Okay. What's the, they go... What's the contradiction? Why is it white? Because of the lightning flash. But why is it white? Everything else is black. Because it's, Cause I it's guess, a, more reflective it's like and it's metal. Oh, the thing in his the thing in his hand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I kind of agree with that. It's yeah, a knife, so it kind of makes sense. I mean, what else? I mean, what else would it be? The vase. Uh. Okay, that's a big vase, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say. I feel like it would be a little bit more than that. I'm not sure. Though. Uh, the VHS tape. My other guess would be the autopsy. <laughs> the report. VHS tape. He's reason. holding it sideways. Yeah, I would also suggest the autopsy report. The I mean, autopsy this report because, because it knife. says the knife tip was found in the wound. This is the next closest thing that's relevant, I feel like. Dude, I gonna, feel like I'm all the other stuff. I'm gonna run out of health because of you people. I don't know. Holy oh. shit, you're Are fucking you kidding me. If, if, I swear to fucking god, if it's oh because this shows a flat tip and I presented the fucking knife, I'm actually gonna explode. <laughs> My goodness. I hate to be aware of bad news, but this picture the witness drew con uh, contains a blatant contradiction. It fucking sucks. What? But I still remember it just like it was yesterday. Mr. White, perhaps it would be faster if you simply pointed out this contradiction for him. What part of this picture contradicts the autopsy report? <laughs> Are we mad? The contradiction, of course, lies here. Take a look at the knife the man is holding. If you look closely, you can see the. Ow. Anyway. Uh. Even yeah. I don't have to look closely to see that, Mr. Wright. But, Mr. Wright, look at the evidence. Now I'm embarrassed. My fucking perfect game. <laughs> my perfect See game. See the murder weapon? Its tip is broken too. If I recall, the tip of the knife was found broken in the victim's body. Ooh. It was, it was the conclusive music. piece of evidence that proved Joe Dark was the murderer. I'm afraid it's not so simple, Emma. 
And where, where, pray tell, could you possibly see a problem? It's obvious, mm -hmm. really. The victim suffered a single stab wound to the back. If the victim was only stabbed once, then the murder weapon should not yet be broken. What? That's like a convoluted way of saying that. Uh. I'm not wrong, right? Like, that's bullshit. Like, because both the autopsy report and the knife proved the same fucking thing? Yeah. That's like... All of the health I've lost so far has been because of bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what are you, one karma? Do you want to fucking track, like, perfect, like, fucking penalty list thing? Yes! <laughs> because, like... I, like, I want, I, like, obviously, I only want to have lost health because I was wrong. I have not been wrong yet. <laughs> Alright. Ah, what's the lead of this? Perhaps the knife was broken beforehand. Objection. Sorry, but I'm afraid that's not possible. The tip of the knife was found inside the victim's body. If it was broken beforehand, it couldn't possibly wind up in there. Unless he swallowed it and... That's survived. right! But what does this mean? The tip of the knife was undeniably discovered within the victim's body. Uh, Carrie, you said you watched the Game Grumps play this, right? Uh, not this far. Oh, okay. Because I'm wondering, I'm uh, like, I kind of want to go check out their playthrough to see if they did Case 5. Because if they did, they I did wanted... not. They didn't? Why, did they just nope. not finish it? No, they finished at 3. Case 3? Yeah. No, they the didn't one with Edgeworth. Didn't Or the... Not Case 3. Case 4, yeah, case I guess. Four. Edgeworth's the one with Case 4, yeah. Why'd they, yeah. Stop? Why'd they stop there? There was another case. I mean, I they probably because... thought that was the last one. Or they thought that it wasn't popular enough? I don't know. Maybe. That's also a possibility. Ned, because I just wanted to see... Aaron's reaction <laughs> to like see if he also came to that same conclusion. Anyway. If you wanna... The only possible explanation is the witness's memory is mistaken. That's why I asked her so many times if she was sure she was remembering correctly. I believe you were annoyed at the time, but she was sure she remembered correctly. But there's no other way to explain this inconsistency. Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. There is another explanation. Have you forgotten already? About a little something called falsified evidence? You're treading on thin ice, right? <laughs> All I'm saying is that this broken knife tip might be a piece of evidence that was forged. You can't deny that possibility. No. <laughs> Gosh, there's so many Args oh. and Wargs. Order, or Are you saying the investigation really was corrupted? Your Honor, please allow me to once again go over the events that took place the day of the murder. The police department and the prosecutor's office were holding a ceremony that day. In black and white. In black and white. <laughs> then for this one picture, the world reversed and became colored. After receiving the kin of pros uh, King of Prosecutors Award at the ceremony, Neil it's Marshall... me, Lancelot. I'm in the picture, right? <laughs> Neil Marshall <laughs> questioned Joe Dark along with Damon Gant. And no one else was there. Definitely no knights. During his questioning, Joe Dark fled the room. Prosecutor Marshall chased after him and was killed by Dark. It's my belief that somewhere in this story, there's a lie. I... Emma! <laughs> spit it out! <laughs> what do you have in your I'm mouth? not lying. Emma! Emma. Emma. She hey. runs out while like, you hear plastic crinkling. <laughs> the man really was holding up a broken knife. If that's true, then there's no other way around it. This could not have been the actual murder weapon. Oh man, I wonder if this is the point that I was trying to say earlier. Anyway. 
There must have been another broken knife. What are the chances of there being two broken knives? <laughs> so many broken knives. Two broken, broken knife knives? Joe Darks. Could there have been one? There's another one. If the witness is this adamant about the accuracy of what he saw, it can't just be explained away by a simple observational error. Mr. Wright. In that instant, Emma really did see a broken knife. I assume, then, that you have some information about this other broken knife. If so, please feel free to enlighten us. The murder I was shall not. broken prior to the murder. There's only one way. Take a look at this. Here's the real murder weapon. I don't know, the fucking... The blue badger. The face? Maybe? Yes! It's the, it's the King of Prosecutors Award, because I had the knife before, right? Huh? That's, tr that's true! Well, no, wouldn't it be the... Because I doesn't have the knife on it. Would it be the picture that has it? Well, I mean, because this, cause this one... Listen, Adrian. <laughs> You're... <laughs> The problem is, is that both of us could be right because this says this talks about how it used to have a halberd on it, and then this right. picture shows that it has a knife on it. Well, I mean that but would be what. But doesn't talk about how there's a, a knife on it. Yeah, but it shows it. The current one is just like. Right, but then it talks about how it used to have a knife on it. I'm ninety percent sure it's the picture. All right. The answer lies in the past. Two years in the past. Right here inside this picture. Well, that picture contains like all three possibilities, or two. Sorry, two. <laughs> yes, Saba? Well, Gant, right? Gant is the third one. He uses his electrical powers and just <laughs> the whole truth. Saba. <laughs> electrical knife! <laughs> Thunderclap knife. What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? It's the... the broken murder weapon. Notice the award Prosecutor Marshall is holding. That's a broken knife! Wow. Wow. As we earlier concluded, the knife in the drawing was not Joe Dark's knife. That being the case, the knife the witness saw was all likelihood from this one. What?! Who makes an award that comes apart? <laughs> In, like, I mean, distinct could've... pieces. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. They would be one solid hunk of metal and or fused together. Order, order, order. Neil Marshall was awarded the King of Prosecutors that day. <sighs> As an award, he was given this broken shield and knife. When he chased after Joe Dark, he pulled out this knife. Being a prosecutor, he did not carry a pistol. This broken knife was the only weapon he had in this dangerous situation. But that, that can't be. Oh, why not, Mr. Edgeworth? Because if the King of Prosecutors Award knife was the murder weapon, then the murder and the victim would be reversed. What do you mean? I mean... Is this gonna Jake be a tale of two cities for a fight? This man raising a knife would have been Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Grant, may I admit something to you? What? I don't know what the tale of two cities is. Uh... What? <laughs> yeah. You've never had to read it? Nope. Not in high school? No, we read Flowers for Algernon instead. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. So we read sense. Flowers for Algernon, and I think it was I think it was a book called like The Other Jonas or something like that, about a guy who grew up in a neighborhood with a kid who's who had the exact same name as him, like first and last name, because they it was like a really generic like first name and last name. But then, like, over the course of their lives, he becomes, like, a writer, and the other guy, like, gets convicted for, like, murder. And then oh. they reconvene, because he, like, looks that guy up, and he's like, oh, tell me your story. And the whole book was, like, a retelling of that guy's story about how, like, your choices matter, like, in terms of, like, the course of your life. 
and then literally the sub because we everybody in the school had to read it to the point where they forced us to buy the book and the guy came in for like a couple of speeches right the author came in for a couple of speeches and then literally a year later it was revealed that it was all made up <laughs> And and fucking that was it, and that was just the whole thing. And I was like, well then, fuck you. It doesn't matter then. <laughs> anyway, damn it. This is really into the case. This is just I just, I keep thinking about the fact that Jake's entire reason for suspicion was that I swear no one could beat my brother in a fight. He was so strong and so good at fighting and kicking butt. He could beat anyone. My brother could beat you could beat your brother up. But like that was, <laughs> but it appears as if he's up. right. <laughs> Right, but that's not a good, like. It's was, not a good reason, but he is correct. Neil was apparently just like prodigious at fighting. He was like the karate kid plus every other martial arts master, <laughs> but his theme was still cowboy. Right. And he didn't what? use a gun clearly. He so he was a martial artist cowboy. He was Chuck Norris. Oh. oh but the prosecutor was the one who actually died. That's true. It seems Mr. Wright has been a bit too eager to jump to conclusions. I mean, but wasn't... But wasn't fucking uh, Neil Marshall, like, on top of Joe Dark? Apparently. Right? Wasn't that a thing? Like, I don't know, man. Neil Marshall top Joe Dark? <laughs> oh my god. Who's that holding mm -hmm. this time? Oh. Wait, I remember now. I remember everything. I'm gonna punch you in the head so you can never remember anything again. <laughs> well, <laughs> witness, we get overly aggressive with the Mr. witness. Mr. Edgeworth, <laughs> check that off, Crane. <laughs> what is it? Could you show me your evidence list again, please? His list? The one with that picture? Won't want to come along, Scooby back, whatever. <sighs> I knew it. This picture. I'm the one who drew it. Yes, we could tell. What? What? I thought that was obvious. <laughs> you drew that? That's right. The list wasn't torn in half at the time I drew this picture. Wait, something are you going to put the fucking pictures together and it makes like something new? I was possessed yeah. by a spirit when I drew that picture. <laughs> What the uh, fuck is uh, that? All this time I've been trying so hard to forget. What the fuck? I was about to say, it's like an alien floating outside the window. What is this? That's, that's clearly the blue badger. Right, it's clearly the blue badger, but from the perspective in which she viewed it, this is clearly like the window or whatever. So the blue badger is sideways. I don't know what the fuck that is sideways. <laughs> I think the chandelier falls. That's the blue badger. Oh my god, this is what we're gonna think. Okay, just keep going, guys. Saba, shut up. We're allowed to have fun. <laughs> I must have locked this part away deep inside me. Okay. I'm in your deepest, darkest id. Perhaps it would be best if we added this to the witness's testimony. Would you please tell us what you recall, Miss Guy? Yes, Your Honor. First, the knife mixed up, and now the. Blue Badger? This should be interesting. Yes. Now, but now I gotta, but now I gotta know, cause like I want to go back to that other case and be like, cause wasn't the chief of police, or no, sorry, the the chief of detectives, wasn't he like, yeah, I made the Blue Badger? I mean, good just been taking credit. <laughs> but that's what I mean. Didn't, now I want that to be explained. Didn't we like witness the, the Blue Badger's creation throughout the course of Game One, like throughout the course of these cases? Every time we visit, when I saw that man raise his knife, I panicked and rushed towards the both of them. I think I I knocked away the man with the knife. This is a big cool. detail, Emma. <laughs> this is like important. Okay, Just then, trauma, there was okay. another flash of lightning, and that's when I saw the Blue Badger! I thought the Blue Badger didn't exist yet! <laughs> the Blue Badger was the killer. He wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I shot- oh god, his shadow. My shadow! <laughs> My god. Salem Witch Trials. This is certainly most unusual. Try impossible. The Chief of Detectives hadn't even designed- him until this oh, is that a that's is that wrong 
designed. Yeah, yeah it's a typo. Oh, I didn't even typo. design him. I didn't even design. Every time you say my yes, name, I grow powerful. Yes, well, the defense may now begin its cross examination. Okay. Stop, please. Don't pursue this any further. Fuck off, Lana! I don't give a shit about your like, career or family, family secrets. Work. She even busted out a new sprite for that. That is true, she did bust out a new sprite. Llama. What's the meaning of this? Please remain seated in the defendant's chair. But you can't do this. I've already confessed to the crime. Fuck off, Lana! We can do whatever the fuck we want! Clearly. Crime directive. Why can't you just leave it at that? Robot Directing. Llama is like... Mm -hmm. a it's a robot. <laughs> Chief Prosecutor Sky. We've already come this far. It's too late to turn back. Silence! Boom! <laughs> the defense will now begin its cross examination. Bailiff, please detain the defendant. As you say, you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> <laughs> sir! <laughs> Get her fucking, ass! Fucking just. <laughs> Lana, so that way she can't fucking disturb no, anybody anymore. Wait, when when, when can the bailiffs do that? Why wouldn't they be able to do that? <laughs> they're not Gorks, they're Kermits. Right. <laughs> Stop, you can't just give Gorks an infinite Gork Kermit <laughs> hybrid. Oh, dude, we need to figure out who fucking invented this hybrid technology, because it's really, because we're using it very liberally. Damn. <laughs> it seems we're finally getting to the core of the matter. There's no technology. Gumshoes and Kermits just naturally have a have a very loose DNA. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Just goes anywhere. It'll stick to you, and then you'll mutate. It's like radiation. When you say that man, I assure you, you refer to Joe Dark. Yes, at least I think it was him. You think? All I could really see were shadows. The power outage that immediately preceded the incident is also documented in the prosecutor's office report. So then you... Did you shoulder tackle them? Why would you do something so dangerous? You fool. What else could I have done? You jumped out the window. <laughs> Tackled them out the window. He was about to stab Mr. Marshall. Well, they were in front of the window. Maybe that's what she was trying to do. She seems convinced that Dark was the one holding the knife. But as we've just theorized, Mr. Marshall was the one holding the knife. Well, I didn't know that at the time. Then stop fucking saying it. <laughs> when that Dark guy knocked me down... <laughs> dark -a. You... <laughs> I'm, about to, I'm about to say, Emma, that's not what you're supposed to refer to them it's as. It's the last name. Okay? I'm pretty sure Gant is the most not white person we've seen so far. All I could think He's was, I've got to help that other person. Man. What do you mean, you think? It, it all happened so fast, and I was in shock. I don't remember everything clearly. What I did, it's all kind of a blur. Miss Skye was almost killed before she wit she was witness to a murder about to take place. With so much happening in a matter of seconds, a little disorientation is only natural. It's not a little. It's a lot. She was 14, lay off it. <laughs> I know, like, seriously. I saw the man about to stab the other person who I thought was Mr. Marshall. I knew I had to stop the man with the knife. What you did was very brave, young girl. So then what happened? Man, I'm just thinking, because I played a case in game 5, and I'm just like, man, there's one witness that I fucking love that I feel like Zack would hate, and there's one witness that I fucking hate that I feel like Zack would love. <laughs> Lit like, I don't know. The only witnesses I've hated so far are ones that literally just obstruct the whole process, which has been every witness. <laughs> Sure about this? Of course. See, I even drew a picture of him here. Mm. But it was the chief of detectives who thought up this hideous beast. 
I infiltrated his mind and he reincarnated me. And that was just this year. It's like the fucking old ones from uh, War Warcraft. The blue badge didn't exist two years ago. This is all quite verifiable. I knew his carnation. I know it's not strange. I was surprised too when I saw him at the police department. I had this <laughs> nagging feeling that I'd seen him before somewhere. Maybe in my dreams? I don't know. Now I finally remember. Oh brother, just when you thought a thing that caused enough commotion had caught a, had caused enough commotion. Where in the room did you see him dancing? Dancing? His mm. shadow? So you mean you didn't actually see his face with his winning smile and all? That's right, but I still remember it. He had three creepy horns. This is pointless. That thing couldn't have possibly existed two years ago. The witness must be mistaken. What, are you going to show me your badge again? No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just sacrifice more. Sorry, I was just I was just looking at something. Uh, that may well be. But what's important is is what caused her to think she saw what she did. Oh, and I suppose you have an explanation then. If so, then by all means, please tell us what this shadow really was. What was Emma? What was it Emma saw when the lightning flash? Who is this blue badger really? You just might know. The blue badger hadn't even been dreamt up when Emma drew this picture. Yet she's certain she saw this shadow. Ladies and gentlemen, it is this defense's belief that on that fateful day two years ago, there indeed was something that looked similar to the blue badger. Something that is now sitting in this very room. Mr. Wright! It was face. Edgeworth. It was Edgeworth. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> in this room, very well, Mr. Wright. What is it that the witness saw in that instant? Please show us this mysterious blue badger look like. Like. I guess. No, that doesn't really work. Well, it kind of does. This thing's chipped, but not really. Just because it has, like, see, if you look at it like this, it has, like, the horns. But there's three horns, right? Correct, which, I don't know. Like, obviously, that's a little bit of a flaw in my idea. But I ju it's just, like, it seems like a coincidence, I guess. I don't know. But what else could it be? Like, I I, I mean, I think... It's, it's the only huh? three-dimensional object we have that remotely looks like it. Yeah. Do you want to just go with that? Sure. It was the knife. It polymorphed. It looked like spherical. <laughs> the mysterious blue badger was, in fact, this! But that's... Uh, what exactly is that? I believe it's some sort of jar? But, Mr. Wright, that doesn't look anything like the blue badger. Indeed, it doesn't, as it stands now. Uh, and it's... At just It's just a plain jar. However, what if we were to change our viewpoint? Our viewpoint? I gotta show them the correct angle to look at this thing. Oh gosh, this <laughs> thing again. Dude, I don't fucking... What? No, I think that was right, huh? Wait, where I just Wait. was? Yeah, I think. I don't think, I think... Oh, okay, it, no, 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 because it kind of looks like this. Wait, maybe like rotate no. it so that the end is farther away from us? I don't know. And that those two horns are closer? Yeah, because one of the horns is oh, the other broken side. off. What do you mean? Yeah, okay, like not. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, almost. It's close. Oh, so like that? Kinda, but yeah. maybe. I don't know how close the game needs you to be. <laughs> That's true. Think, so what's this? So wait, wait. So, so based on the... Which, by the way, this is really hard to control. I don't know if you can tell. But yeah, so I, like, I so, so based on this... <laughs> 
<laughs> this was flying at her and might be the reason why she got knocked out. Maybe. <laughs> Funny. And that's why I there's fucking blood on it. Hey, Alex, go for it. I'm gonna present yeah. this. What? Never mind. <laughs> what? Allow me to remind the defense its case hinges on the witness's drawing. If Mr. Wright can't match the shape the witness drew, we cannot accept his claim. The game really wants me to look just like... the right angle. Maybe I should no, rotate it gonna... vertically a bit more. Or horizontally. No. Come on, Mr. Wright, you can do it. So the game apparently needs to be laser precise. Yeah, this Isn't is, it the this handle? is really annoying. You well, actually have to get what's really wrong with close the, to being perfect. With the handles, Carrie? No, like, isn't it? Isn't the shape of the blue badger just the handles? It's only that, like, one of the no, one of the handles is broken had... off. No, because the her her drawing has the third horn in the middle. Yeah, there. but like the. There you go. Oh oh oh! Yeah. Wait, a little up more. That, that... That's that should pretty be... fucking close. Yeah, yeah I feel nice like that's as close it. as gonna get. Hit it. That's oh, gotta be it, there. right? Please, yes. game? Oh, okay, oh thank God. God. <laughs> well, is this a miracle or what? Man, I can't Mountain fucking Mountain. believe that the blue picture is based on this fucking weird jar. Oh my yeah. God. No one could possibly deny this jar's resemblance to the blue badger. Well, I mean, they made the blue badger before they made this case, so... No, it can't be. <laughs> Are you telling me that's why the jar is so fucking weird? Yeah. Order, order. The defense has proven its claim. The mysterious blue badger witness on the day of the crime was actually this. Although we all enjoyed Mr. Wright's dramatic performance, one question remains. What's your point? What did the murder... What do you mean? So that badger thing was actually just a jar. So what? That doesn't change anything. No objection. I'm afraid that's where you're wrong, Mr. Edgeworth. You see, this changes everything. Indeed. Very well then, please tell us. <laughs> Thank you, Edgeworth. What's different now that we know the witness saw this jar? Huh? You wanna tell me, punk? I don't fucking know! <laughs> gonna cry? I'm gonna piss her pants, maybe? Maybe shit come. come. <laughs> I don't know. Well, we saw the blue badger in the background of that photo, right? Or sorry, no, the vase. Yes. Does that but it looked anything? like it was flying, right? So it couldn't have been just... I was about to say, it was, in the, it was in the air, like, far above them. Right? That's true. And she said she was sitting by freaking uh, Lana's desk, which is on the other side of the room from where the so jar was. The location. I think so. The location Probably. of the murder. So the location, murder weapon. Location, so, the, location. So, the, so, the, so the murder weapon was still the award knife. The murderer, we don't know. And then the location could just be different. Right, I think so. You want to say location? Sure. Okay. Location, location, location. I agree. That's, Allow me to take these in turn. At the moment of the murder, the witness saw this jar. At a very specific angle, I might add, Mr. Wright. Yes, well, knowing this, where could she have seen this jar? Where? The location of the jar is shown in this picture taken on the day of the crime. It's on a shelf in the office of Damon Gant. Next to me, Lancelot! But the body was found lying near Lana Skye's desk. Oh, okay, so it was a location. That's good. The witness testified so herself. Yes! And these two facts... And... And... What the fuck? <laughs> yes! And it, is. and it is these two facts that reveal what actually transpired. God. You see... The struggle between Dark and Marshall did not take place in Lana Skye's office. It happened on the other side of the room, in Chief Gant's office. I mean, it's the same room. Does that count? <laughs> Lancelot's like, I don't know why you don't call me to the witness stand. I was there. Shut the fuck up, Lancelot. I saw everything. 
Are you implying the murderer moved the victim's body? Oh, From okay. Damon Gant's office with Lancelot, my I add, uh, to Lana Sky's office. Thank you. Yes. That... Why would he do that? There's no reason. I can explain the reason if you do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if there wasn't a reason, he wouldn't have gone through the trouble. The only logical conclusion is that there was a reason. Do you want to hint us to the reason, Mr. Wright? Do you know what that reason was, Mr. Wright? I can give you a hint. I finally figured it out. So this is why Lana tried to stop the trial. You could have just asked me the entire time. It's too <laughs> late to quit now, though. When have we been thinking we were going to quit? Please recall the witness's testimony. She said she knocked away the man holding up the knife. In the next instant, the jar was hit and flew through the air. Now tell me, what could have sent that jar flying? That would have been the impact the man made when he was knocked into the wall. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may draw your attention to this picture once more. Hello, it's me, Lancelot. If the man was knocked in the direction of the shelf the jar was sitting on, what would he have hit? The knife, this Lancelot. Lancelot's the murderer! The front. <gasps> Lancelot. It wasn't me, I said, oh, uh, I mean, oh! The former, Lancelot! <laughs> hey, sword! Now, now Adrian's ridiculous Lancelot character doesn't make any sense, because now he should be arrested for the crime! Oh, do you want to hand us through the actual work? Because it wasn't me, I swear! <laughs> it that seems me. pretty reasonable. I'm just a ghost that possesses the suit of armor. <laughs> yes. Well, we've got to arrest somebody, and we can't arrest a ghost. <laughs> and oh, thank God. The, and since the man who was knocked into the armor was carrying a broken knife, he would have had to have been Neil Marshall wielding the King of Prosecutors trophy. No, Mr. Wright, you can't be thinking... <laughs> I can't believe we're fucking... Uh, we're throwing... We're throwing Emma under the bus. <laughs> we're indicting Lancelot. No, yes, this is true. <laughs> Don't yes. believe it. There is another possibility of what actually transpired in that room. What another possibility? So there's a switch. Man, so I murdered him. Um. Oh. Of course, the pro uh, of course, the perpetrator would have had no idea, but nevertheless, I don't know if I could go through with this. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what's the matter? We can protect yeah. you from plants a lot. If events took place as the defense theorizes, then the outcome is obvious. There's a possessed suit of armor. <laughs> In that moment, assuming the man in the sky knocked away was actually Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Addy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, are you okay, sir? I can't oh, actually... Oh, I'm dying. Oh, um, uh... So it's like, it's it's a repeat of the same thing from Edgeworth's trial, where Edgeworth was like, I did it, <laughs> but this time we prove it. But then it's going to be Damon Gant somehow. I don't fucking know. You mean, Mr. Marshall died because of me? <laughs> Lana's just, Lana fucking leaps out of the bailiff's hands, just like vaulting through the room, and just fucking chokes Phoenix to death. <laughs> I I broke <laughs> You get a game over instantly. <laughs> no! I knew that girl did it. It's always so little I girls. She passed out. I know little girls are always guilty. I never imagined her testimony would lead to this. So it was the witness who took the victim's life. Yeah, and then proved so with her own testimony. Conspiring with Sir Lancelot. What is this? Wait, no, and then Joe Dark was executed. <laughs> this is unprecedented. <laughs> what are you saying? My programming! <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Sky, but given the circumstances... Joe Dark murdered Prosecutor Marshall! How can you think it was Emma? How dare you try to pin the crime on her? Ooh, new, anim new animation again. My new sprite. 
Imagine that coming from you. Yeah. If you recall, it was you who admitted to forging evidence two years ago. The reason you moved Prosecutor Marshall's body was to keep anyone else from finding out what Emma did, wasn't it? I assure you, Mr. Edgeworth, I have no idea what you're talking about. If you hope to have anyone believe your insane allegations, I'm afraid you're going to have to have proof. Tell me. Do you have any conclusive evidence that proves my sister was killed? Neil, my sister killed Neil I don't Neil want to do this. <laughs> evidence. I'm willing to bet you don't. Yes, it certainly would be difficult to prove this with evidence. I would offer, but I don't want to indict a little girl. If we don't have evidence, then we'll have to rely on testimony alone. I'm afraid that won't work in this case. Both parties involved in the incident are dead. We certainly can't get dead people to testify. I mean, it's... I could testify. <laughs> Lancelot, shut the fuck up! It's all been one wild goose chase from the beginning. Hmm. Touché, Miss Scott. Of course, that only leaves us with one possibility. You mean there's still another possibility? That is what, what I just said. Mean, with? I mean, the possibility that the victim has left us a message. Ho! Ho! Ho, ho, ho! Oh, oh, this oh. weird shit that he wrote on it with his dying blood. <laughs> oh, oh. You, blood. you like, you like shift and move the like thing around so it like you know so it lines up and it says Maya. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, it not again. You, you. When no one's looking, you add more red paints. Like, oh, see, it says dark. <laughs> <laughs> For better or for worse, Ms. Mar Mr. Marshall did not die instantly. He may have left behind the name of the person who took his life. What? In one manner or another. That's... that's impossible. <laughs> well, I don't know if you're doing this on purpose, Grant, but I like the idea of, like, in this heightened emotional state, her human part of her cyborg is, like, taking over and, like, overwriting her directives. So yeah. she's, like, <laughs> she's, like, trying to be, like, contained, but she's, like, oh, fucking no. <laughs> <laughs> Not the programming again. A message from the deceased. Does such a message exist? I gotta think back to the court record. It, it does. You left me on red last night, Judge. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> name that the victim may have left behind is in the evidence, because that's how this game works. This message from the deceased is already in our possession. Mr. Wright, will you stop at nothing to prove my sister's a murderer? <laughs> yes, <laughs> or no. Bro! <laughs> Bro, Do bro, not please. be mistaken, Miss Sky. My job is to protect you, Miss Sky. You should have hired me for your sister, too. <laughs> <laughs> Our purpose is not to accuse Emma of any crime. There is only one thing we seek. The truth. Yes, you said my line already. I wanted to say it together. <laughs> okay, well, it's, it's I, the truth. No matter how painful it may be. Now then, that's the right. Please show us the piece of evidence that conveys a message from the deceit. Alright, I, I actually don't know. <laughs> because, like, this... Because, like, this piece of cloth... I, I originally was gonna show this piece of cloth being like, Ha! Look! Emma did it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know what I, you know what I mean? Did. But now uh, but now we're supposed to show something else, so would it be the fucking jar? Probably. It That's has like the only other thing, I guess. I mean, why like else would be writing? Uh, Gant have that piece oh. in the safe. Oh, yeah, I can still point. look at it. Oh. Two years ago. I mean, they do look the weird. Found and she's getting off, still has lines remaining on it. Oh, it's probably gonna be this, and then we have to do, like, fucking connect the dots. Yeah, and lines right. would imply that there was a message on it originally, but it was wiped off. Okay, so I'll write this. So I'll do this. Sure. The middle of the east! Just that blue badger from the fourth, right? My phylactery right, give it to me! Or is he just going to speak the killer's name? 
If that thing could, I'm sure it would. <laughs> what? It was Emma! <laughs> it was Emma! <laughs> it looks like everyone's forgotten that this is just a jar. No, it's a phylactery. <laughs> oh! oh that guy was in pieces. A I am restored. Here on the surface of this jar. What do you mean? If you look closely, you can see a faint trail of blood on this jar. It looks like someone wiped the blood away. Yes, but notice, for some reason, the blood on some of the fragments is not wiped away. Yes, yes there's the line here, are... drawn in blood. So what you're saying is these dots were once lines. Line segments! <laughs> <laughs> Prosecutor Marshall did not die instantly. He used the few precious moments le left to him to leave behind a message. All right, is this supposed to be like a like a send off, like a hey, dude, we love Phoenix Phoenix Wright one. You know what I mean? Because like this feels really weird that this same gimmick of like I'm gonna write my killer's name in my dying blood shows up again. <laughs> I don't think this is the last them. time it shows up. <laughs> one that someone apparently wiped away. But blood must have seeped into the jar where the lines change directions. Precisely so. All we need to do is connect these points, and the victim's message will become apparent. With this red paint that I've bought. No. Mr. Moore, what kind of message did the victim leave for us? Your Honor, I believe these bloodstains will reveal to us the answer. Gotta connect these dots to make letters. There's only one thing the victim would have written, given the circumstances. His murderer's name. He who defiles my phylactery faces 1,000 years of torture. Dude, I don't... <laughs> dude, I don't... Oh! It's Emma. <laughs> oh, it's Emma. no! It does say Emma! Oh, no! Oh, the, both pieces of evidence what? prove that it was it? her. All right. Wait, I didn't, wait, I didn't do that one. What? Control Z. <laughs> wait. Oh, man. I feel so bad. <laughs> well, you wanted to fucking brutalize Emma the entire case. Here's your I chance. I didn't. <laughs> you, got, you got what you wished for. I didn't yeah, want to. Good for you. I did not! You all lie! I did, <laughs> I did not! I did, I did not hit did not her! I did not! Oh, hi, Emma. Oh, hi, Emma. <laughs> you did hit. Oh, hi, Dark. <laughs> it's a defense attorney's duty to prove their client's innocence. That's all <laughs> I've been thinking about is saving Lana. After all my efforts, I never thought it would turn out like this! <laughs> Emma. Oh, no! It's so sad! Uh -oh. So this is the final message Prosecutor Marshall left behind. Wait, is it literally going to be the same thing as the first one? Where, where, because, like, uh, Mia wrote Maya, because it's like, I, like, help. I, like, help, I love you, you know? Like, is this going to be the same thing where it's like, Emma, it wasn't your fault? <laughs> of all people, she may not have meant it. But in the end, the one who took the victim's life was Emma Sky. You know, I don't actually know whether even the law of like you can't be prosecuted if you're like a minor or like it's different. Uh, is I'm about itself. to say, I I really wonder. <laughs> Stevie Worthy, can't say I didn't warn you. Chief Gant. Do you like my not evil organ theme? Do you understand the implications of what you've done? What? What? What are you talking about? Two years ago, Joe Dark was sentenced to death. He was convicted because of his final murder. I believe you were the prosecutor in the case, were you not? Eck. <laughs> yes, worthy. Because of you. An innocent man was sentenced to death. What about all the forged um, evidence? Uh, <laughs> and all the other people he killed? Yeah, he killed a lot Not of only people. that, but you used forged evidence to ensure his conviction. <laughs> I'm 
breaking up. Breaking up. <laughs> He's going through a tunnel. But Joe Dark really was a serial murderer. That's undeniable. Who are you? I'm afraid that's not important. Who are you? Didn't you know? We aren't defenders of justice. What? We're merely keepers of the law. That's Wait. the most real thing this game has ever said. <laughs> I'm not evil, by the way. He's not evil. He's not evil. You want to come to the pool with me? <laughs> Sentencing a man to death is no light matter. Even if there wasn't any cover-up or evidence forgery. Ultimately, the responsibility falls on the prosecutor in charge. You're ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not evil. I'm very orange, though. Despite what anyone may say, this fact cannot be denied. What the fuck does his skull look like? Very manly. <laughs> I'm about to say, I think it's I think his I think his skull is the shape of a brick. It's a very manly skull. They might have sent an innocent man to his death, <laughs> just like me. <laughs> are you oh, saying, are you saying the spot. audience voice is now just con or... karma? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all doppelgangers. I've been practicing cloning Gangles myself, but that hasn't worked very well. Ears. Unable to settle the crowd, the judge declared... Ah, 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 blood we'll drain! Fire! <laughs> I have the silencer on. <laughs> Where this trial's headed, no one knows. Oh my <laughs> god. Convarma has been trying to clone himself, but it hasn't been working. All I can do is make people that look like him, but don't do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna even finish today? I hope so. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm. I hope. <laughs> I hope final. We... We're still in final day trial ladder. That means there's a final day trial. Oh wait, no. Well, we still have like right. 40 minutes, so we might be okay. Yeah. Let's I'm go. about to say it only took fucking because we started like 20 minutes late, so it only took about 40 minutes to get here. Or uh, well, let's try to let's keep keep up the pace. No, sorry. Okay. Ed. I didn't mean to get you in trouble. Huh. Don't worry about it. It's true, you were gonna resign. <laughs> this is my problem, not yours. Hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals. Uh... Uh... Oh, <laughs> yes I am. I'll come back later. Bye. Wait, is that the gumshoe? What is it? You've got a lot of nerve, pal. Make a detective run around while on duty. This is the same fucking thing as before. Is he still a detective, though? And yeah, to top true. it all, you call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. I take it Lana's having you run errands again. Let me tell you, this is the last time, pal. Here, that's me to give you this. It was a break in today's trial. <laughs> is this like? Is this like evidence law? Andrews was talking about this the other day. It, it looks like evidence. It looks like evidence law. Also, it's Sherlock Holmes. But I, I like evidence law for dummies. <laughs> evidence law for babies. Babies first. Evidence law. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait. What the fuck are you doing? It's cheap. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Is that, hey, I didn't even get. Fucking... <laughs> you gotta be quick on your feet. I've been waiting. I had a thing. Oh, did you? I'm so sorry. I did. <laughs> I'm so sorry. If there's another no, memory it's fine. section, if there's another memory section, I'll make sure to not skip that one. A, message. a massage. She said, "If you're planning to take him on." You're gonna need this book. Him. God. I'll need to give this uh, book a thorough read. Books. You read through it, and it's actually a disguised book, and inside it's like how to kill God. <laughs> so is it? So so because we are handed this and it is now in the court record, is this how we are going to contradict like bullshit evidence? Because it's like ah, evidence law can't do that. <laughs> Maybe. Because otherwise, because like, like, because Grant, I was, I was talking to you about this before. I feel like we should just have like a lawyer's handbook that are like, yeah, these are basic laws that you're not allowed to break, like lying while under oath or fabricating evidence. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and you can just refer like to that. Doesn't that book like... will do you any good now, though. 
All that's left now is the chief prosecutor's sentence. That's where you're wrong, detective. Huh? Haven't you figured it out yet? Why am I, why I'm still sitting in the prosecutor's seat, that is. Despite all these allegations being thrown at me. Why are alligators being thrown at you, Edgeworth? He you prefers crocodiles, even. Yes. Mr. Edgeworth. The real trial today hasn't begun yet. What? What else is there left to do? You told me there's more than 40 minutes left in the stream. Damn it. <laughs> we won't finish the game tonight. Your credibility's been all but ruined with this forged evidence you were unaware of. I'm a sky found out she unwillingly caused a man's death. And now, you're telling me you want to do more? I mean, that's the same as murder in this universe. You've got to be kidding me, pal. You're missing the point, Detective. Lana didn't murder Detective Goodman. What? She merely stuck a knife into his dead body. That means the what? real killer... What? I'm just confused. <laughs> oh, God. I, you, I, I thought you couldn't hear me. No. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. That means the real killer is still out there. I'm about to say, yeah, just because we proved that she might have accidentally murdered uh, Neil like two years ago does not change the fact that Goodman's dead. <laughs> yeah. And we're gonna expose him, no matter what it takes. This case has hurt too many people. It's time to bring it to an end. I didn't even really get a chance to look at that evidence law yet. <laughs> I would like to. Uh, Convarma, Convarma, calm down, <laughs> Convarma number three. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. I will repeat, we have too many things in our universe that can just spontaneously fucking multiply. <laughs> I will perfect this cloning technique someday, and then they'll see, right? Then they'll be in trouble. Evidence will be shown without the approval of the police department. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. Okay, sure. That thick guy spoke only has those two sentences, the rest is pictures. <laughs> of ducks in Sherlock Holmes outfits. Yeah. Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor? The Inquiry Committee is planning to impose harsh penalties for your actions. Of course. Oh! Thank you for the news, Your Honor. Yes, well... <clears throat> Normally this is where the prosecution calls forth a witness. Wait, uh, Adrian, is it like this the the inquiry committee? Is this the PIC from Investigations Two? Uh, the the uh, pro the prosecutorial uh investigation committee or or inquiry committee? Probably <laughs> the the fucking like secret government cabal that just like looks at prosecutors. Yeah, probably. But, uh... <laughs> actually, this might be a reference to them, since this was made after... The... Actually, no, this was made before Investigations 2, so... Yeah. Maybe Within they were referencing this, I don't know. E easy to say. You see, there's some concern that you, Mr. Edgeworth, may have, uh... Struck a bargain. <laughs> oh, no. You think I may have manipulated the witness? I didn't say that. It's just... You see, everyone has been talking, and, uh, the gossip. Yes. Very well, Your Honor. I have a solution. A solution? That being the case, the prosecution will allow the defense to call forth all further witnesses. What? what There's no precedent for what you're proposing. Undeniably, this is an unusual arrangement. But a very effective one. It would prove that I haven't struck any deals with the witnesses. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? Unbelievable. Edgeworth has found a way to continue the trial. Phoenix's first taste oh. of power. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious. The defense accepts the prosecution's proposal. He will marry the prosecution. Yes. <laughs> you are now man and man. The uh, defense may now call forth the next witness. 
Man squared. <laughs> man so squared. Like, man to man. Man Boy to power to man. man. You do realize this is your last chance. If you call the wrong witness, this trial is as good as over. The defense calls. Wait, let's see how much. Oh, keep it going. Wait, no! No, I can't save! I was gonna save and then call Goodman. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I can't now! God well, damn well, it! Well, it's not gonna take away that much health, look. You can still do it, if you're not a pussy. <laughs> Are okay, you well, just... a coward? I'm Are gonna, you a coward, I'm back? gonna do it, because even if it's even if that doesn't work, I'll just go and then skip a bunch of dialogue. <laughs> what?! <laughs> it appears I've overestimated you, Mr. Wright. Huh? For a moment, I actually thought you knew what you were doing. Him for this. Mr. Wright, this court has long since tired oh. of questionable antics. I'm you sad to like this for I, I still don't have any concrete evidence, but judging by the direction it seems to be pointing, there's another even more suspicious person. Oh. I I'm wanted sad them, I'm some, I wanted there to be a specific thing for Goodman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's stupid. It's just like, I call Jenny Goodman, I will call Maya Faye, and he, she will. <laughs> <laughs> Damon Gant. The defense calls Damon Gant to the stand. D Damon Gant? What does he have to do with anything? As the defen defendant's partner two years ago, Mr. Gant has first-hand knowledge of the crime. I feel we should hear what he has to say about it. Hmm. As luck would have it, he should still be in the courthouse. He would also be the least likely to have been manipulated by me in any way. Wouldn't you agree, Your Honor? True. All right, Bailiff, please escort Mr. Gant to the stand. Yes, sir. You, be careful. He goes. He goes, he goes. Hop, 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 and everybody's just like. Hey, man, it's kind of cold. Witness. It's kind of cold in here. And then, like, off in the distance here. He what? <laughs> <laughs> Please state your name in occupation. What is this? Some kind of practical joke? Answer the fucking question. I was just on my way to lunch. Now I'll have to eat everyone in this court. <laughs> oh, your name in occupation, sir. Worthy, are you sure you want to do this? Your name and occupation. <laughs> it's a really good bit of Edgeworth not being able to ever do this. So, you want to play hardball, eh? Please, Mr. Gant. Fine. My name is Damon Gant. I'm the acting chief of police. What does that mean? Chief I'm Spitanian. acting as the chief of police. <laughs> the real now one's then, Lancelot. Chief Gant, the court requests to hear your testimony. Oh, right oh, what's with the grim face? First, let's clear up this slime incident. Oh, you mean that time Lana's sister murdered that prosecutor? Personally, I think it's been made pretty clear already. There are still some things unaccounted for. Oh, like what? Like the role you played in all this. Son... Either you're very brave, or very <laughs> foolish. You're so evil. <laughs> right, out of curiosity, what is, her, what is the circumference of your neck? I want to know whether I need two or one hand. <laughs> I, I, it's lunchtime, see, and I'd like to eat a sandwich with my free and if I could. I'm not evil. You are aware, of course, that a police chief has all kinds of weapons at his disposal, the least of which are right-killing grenades? <laughs> right-killing grenades. Weapons? Sure, take my testimony, for example. I don't have to give it, I don't want to. What? Is that true? I'm afraid so. The chief of police has the right to refuse to testify. No! Fucking! Ah, God. <laughs> That's not how this works. Of course, such an action carries with it certain risks. Don't worry, I'm not here to hinder your trial. Just remember... 
I'm here to hinder your trial. <laughs> yeah, this turns out to be a big waste of time. Don't say I didn't warn you. I'm guessing I only need one hand. Your neck's not very thick. <laughs> very well. The witness may now begin his testimony and may strangle Mr. Wright later. <laughs> Dude, I'm so fucking... I'm, I'm like buzzing with excitement again. As I recall, Neil and I were questioning him that day. To make a long story short, we slipped up. That power outage didn't help either. I was very thirsty for electricity. <laughs> when I went to my office, I found Lana there. Apparently, she'd already arranged the crime scene. As you can see, I had nothing to do with the forgery. Then why was it in your safe? <laughs> hmm. Is that when Doc was arrested? Would you like to confess to picking my safe right? Mm. Oh, he shit! Was, I didn't have to was... pick anything. You have to get a better password. <laughs> he was lying on the floor unconscious. <laughs> Sir Lancelot was there. Who? He was asleep at the time, so he didn't notice until it was too late. When Emma sent Neil flying, it seems Dark bumped his head. I see. Everything seems pretty clear-cut. If the police chief has the right to refuse to testify, then I'd better hit him hard and fast. Now, does that mean anything, or is this just normal? <laughs> uh... Because, like, I want to... Because, like, I want to ask him about this. So the two of you ran immediately after him, right? Adrian? Oh, sorry, I was looking at something else. That's right, but Dark made it to the elevator first. So Neil and I split up. He went upstairs, and I went via electrical outlet. I guess you could say. <laughs> we got lucky! What's this about a power outage? Oh, that. I was thirsty. The elevator stopped all of a sudden, I got the shock of my life. Well... Probably not as shock as Neil was when that knife went into his heart, though. God. Damn, I'm not I need evil. the room. That's a man is dead. I'm not evil. I'm not <laughs> evil. <laughs> when I went to Mugavu, I found a lot of Alright, I'm assuming this is normal, so I'm just gonna go with the first one. Press everything. As I recall, a ceremony was held at the police department that day. Yes, that's right. I guess you could say I'm a workaholic. It's literally the same thing. <laughs> I love taking pictures, but I swear if they end up with my eyes closed, I will strangle the man who takes them and who looks at them. After <laughs> winning his award, Neil is all fired up too. That's probably what spooked Dark and made him run away like that. I'm not- I, I was still muted. <laughs> was the defendant Lana Sky also present in the room? I don't quite remember. At the very least, she wasn't there when Dark ran for it. Could you tell us what you saw? It was a shocking sight. Almost as shocking as my electricity powers. Neil and that serial killer were lying in a heap on the floor, all tangled together. The master dagger was stuck in them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Then a green man came and tried to pull it out, but I socked him in the face for trying to break into my office. Dark. And electrocuted him. Electrocuted Ooh. him and sent him out the window, flying away. Dark was also lying collapsed on the floor? Yes, apparently hit his head and was knocked out. Next to them were those two poor girls. Lana and Emma. Before Emma established her scientist thing, Lana was cradling Emma in her arms. Looking back at it now, she must have already known what her sister had done. How could you know that? Because the victim's body has already been moved. So that means... You found the body near Lana's desk. That's right. I think you said earlier. It was my suit of armor that really stabbed the prosecutor, Lancelot, when he was asleep. Yes. Anyway, the soul of a dead man reawoke Lancelot's ghost, and ever since then, trusty maid. <laughs> a very, a very effective maid. 
So you're saying that the forgery had already taken place by the time you arrived at the office? That's exactly what I'm saying, yes. I can understand how Lana must have felt. But moving a body and hiding evidence are inexcusable no matter the circumstances. Is that how it really went down? Staring at the witness won't do you any good, Mr. Wright. Stare at me too long and you'll burn your eyes. If you're going to stare at anything... Stare, stare at me! me. Oh. <laughs> stare at my pecs, right? He just rips his shirt open. Worthy, worthy. Always a smooth talker, courting defense attorneys left and right. Which piece of evidence ties Gant to the forgery? Lana did admit to forging evidence, but that can't be the whole truth. Somehow I gotta link Gant to the incident. So, I mean, there's three things of evidence, right? That, like, link... Oh, shit. <laughs> my badge. badge! I almost presented my badge on accident. So there's three things that, like, tie him to the forgery, right? Because half of the evidence list was in his desk drawer. There is this piece of cloth and this fragment of the vase, were, or the jar, were in his safe. But this one and this one were attained illegally, whereas this was also attained illegally? So I don't know which one to present. I don't think the evidence list necessarily has to do with, like, the actual crime itself so much as the investigation of the crime. Okay, I guess that's true. So, I mean, which of these two is right, do you think? Well, the jar is more relevant, because we haven't had a use for the cloth yet. That's true. Both were in the safe, but I don't know, I could present the jar. I mean, I'd say it's the one where he... he I think, since the game might be pedantic, you have to present on the one where he says specifically, I have nothing to do with this case. Oh shit, you're right. Probably. Which I think it's the last one, right? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I had nothing to do with the forgery. Yeah, anyone disagree with, this, uh, with the jar? Didn't you Not find before. that last chunk of jar in that safe? Yes. Yes. Okay, then yeah. Still. Cool. I mean, all pieces of evidence that we have were yeah, music are cut, so it's good. You claim you had nothing to do with the forgery, but I'm afraid that uh, that's a claim you cannot back up. Explain yourself, please. Several pieces of evidence were found in your office. Take this jar, for example. That's the blue badger you showed us earlier. <laughs> Just call it a jar, you weirdo. The blue badger. The blue badger. My bad jar. <laughs> My phylactery. A piece of this jar was discovered in your safe. Oh, is this, that's 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 von Karma's phylactery, <laughs> the the one I mentioned oh, before. Not only that, but the evidence list I presented earlier was actually found inside your desk. It was found where? You see, Chief Gant, these articles of evidence uh, uncovered in your office are both concrete proof that you always played a part in these in the legal investigation. I knew it! That's his weakness! Get him right! Chief Strand, what's the meaning of this? Strike him down where I could not. Ho! Oh. <laughs> oh. Ho! Here's a defense attorney who may even rival Worthy. I am his rival. So you admit it then, that you were involved in the forgery? Who, me? Or do you mean you? Me? Why would I have anything to do with that? Well... You were the one who snuck in my office when you found <laughs> this evidence. Uh-oh. Um... Prosecutors aren't the only ones capable of forging evidence, you know. Defense attorneys can do so, too. Isn't that right, right -o? However, Detective Gumshoe was present during the investigation. Worthy, my boy. Not even detectives are exempt from the law. Rest assured, Dick will receive his due punishment. Mm. What? What? Detective Gumshoe's salary drops any further, he'll end up paying to work. Who is he, yes. fucking SpongeBob? Well, in light of the detective's presence, please give us your testimony regarding these pieces of evidence found in your heart. We have the relation to the forgery that took place at the crime scene. Okay. I'm really glad that that was the angle that they took when it came to, like, this whole bit. Because I was afraid we were going to have to present, like, the piece of cloth with Emma's handprint on it. And then Gant would be like, oh, well, clearly it was Emma then. <laughs> my, my. K 
Kids these days no longer know how to put two and two together. Shut right? Up. I'll make it very simple. Oh, wait. Can you count on your fingers. Wait, I was just about to call Gant a boomer, and then I remember that he's supposed to be like a thunder god. <laughs> He's a, a he's a He's a boomer. Let's see, what was it now? A jar fragment and the list. For all I know, you could have planted them in my office. Anyway, you can't prove when those pieces of evidence were discovered. If they were found after Dark was convicted, then they're worthless. There's no reason I participate in a forgery. Rearranging the crime scene wouldn't help me out in any way. <laughs> Dude, this is tough. <laughs> Miss Wright. Yes, Your Honor. This is tough. <laughs> I'm just kidding, crime scene. You should have been more careful to observe protocol. You do understand that I am the chief of police, right? There will be consequences. Oh. Indeed, I believe I'll press charges so you don't make the same mistake <laughs> again. Edgeworth, <laughs> care to prosecute again for me? My apologies, Chief, but would you mind waiting until tomorrow for that? Today is, well, you know, we're swimming. Ah, Aji, in return, though. I know, I know. That place, right? Yes. What? Are these guys telepathic? I'm, a, oh, I'm, I'm hoping haven't... it's dinner. <laughs> you haven't unlocked telepathy yet, Mr. Wright? It's quite easy. I'll show you sometime. <laughs> Assuming you survive that long. Yo, oh, God. All right, I'm I guess I'm just gonna pres I guess I'm just gonna press everything. You're right. I'm not evil. <laughs> yeah, I'm not evil. I'd appreciate it if you'd stop making these ridiculous allegations. Yes, you do have a point. You wouldn't have the guts to do something like that. What? I'll have you know, back in the day, I once broke into a cattle ranch and tipped- Mr. Wright, what are you saying? Anyway, you can't prove you didn't carry the in the evidence, can you? If you have proof to the contrary, you're going to need it later. Later? What are you talking about? What else? I'm talking about when Raito's prints are found. Yes, if they're found inside my safe, that would prove his investigation was illegal! Never faced anyone as slimy as this guy. It's not slime, it's oil. It's conducive to my electricity. Oh god. What do you mean by that? Well, my oil oh, is specifically shit. made to. <laughs> <laughs> this is all purely hypothetical, of course. But suppose I did place those items in my safe. Such an act would necessarily constitute forgery. If concealing evidence found at the crime scene isn't forgery... I'm not through speaking yet, Righto. It all depends on when the evidence was discovered. Are you saying this jar fragment wasn't discovered in the initial investigation? It would appear not. After all, it isn't listed in the evidence list. It was, in, it was, listed, that... in the, it was listed in the second one, though. For all we know, it could have suddenly materialized the day after Dark was sentenced. I materialize food all the time for myself. Oh, and wouldn't that be convenient? Right. The Chief is talking about a possibility, so long as you can't rule that out. Your remarks, however clever they may be, will only succeed in wasting time. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Come now, Raito. Care for me to materialize my fist in your face? <laughs> Think about it. My fist up your ass. How can you look at me in the eye and say that? Because I'm innocent. I'm not evil. Remember, who was it that murdered Neil? You! I'm not sure I care for the word murder here. But in the end, the person responsible for Mr. Marshall's unfortunate demise was in the sky. Well, now do you see? Gant. Wait, this is weird. Gant isn't the one who's who murdered Prosecutor Marshall two years ago. Yet I know he played a part in the forgery. That can only mean someone asked him to be an accomplice. 
Damon Gant, someone's accomplice. That sounds unlikely. Wait, did I not press it? You didn't press the last one, you actually skipped it. Oh, I, the... oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I was wondering that. Really? Chief Gant? Oh, really, Chief Gant? At the very least, there is a very large benefit you've reaped from all this. Oh, I wasn't aware. What is this benefit? That would, of course, be the position you have, Chief of Police. No. Oh. The resolution of the SL9, in, or the, sorry, Slime incident secured your promotion to Chief. Uh, that in itself is sufficient motive. Ho ho ho! Oh, that's a good one. Huh? Do you really think I'm that incompetent? What do you mean? Even without that case, I was already in line to become the next chief. The resolution of SL9, or as you call it, slime, merely sped up the event a little bit. Is that true, Edgeworth? Yes, he was going to be made chief anyway. Yeah. Be careful, I'm pointing to that finger, or you might wind up with it broken in half. So that means... There's only one possible motivation for you to commit the forgery. If you didn't do it for yourself, then you did it for someone else. Don't be silly worthy. You know me better than that. There are only three people I look out for. Me, myself, and I. Because I'm not evil. Because I'm not <laughs> evil. There, it's out in the open now. I'm not evil. Aji, oh, would you mind if I change my testimony just a little? By all means, please do. You're very lax. He's terrifying. I wouldn't be anyone's accomplice if there was nothing in it for me. Nothing in it for you. Sorry, but the only person I care about is yours truly because I'm not evil. That girl, Lana's little sister, was it? If you think I'd fall sorry for her, you'd better think again. You're right. You don't feel sorry for anyone. I am Correct, right. I'm not evil. <laughs> I am right. Be tough on crime and be tough on people. That's how I was raised, in a very not evil way. You seem to be lax enough on yourself, though. Ho ho ho! Oh, that's a good one, Worthy. Hmm. Could there have been something in it for him? Given his selfishness, who would he, would he have helped someone else? Yeah, obviously. True, you might not have helped out anyone for their sake, but if it would benefit you, you might decide to assist someone. Mr. Wright, it appears you're positively determined to portray the chief as a nice man who likes to lend people a hand. That's not what I mean. Very well, then. Who is this person you believe Chief can made to help forge evidence? Like the stand-up citizen he is. Because I'm not evil. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky, the, the defendant. I believe it's quite obvious in light of the circumstances. Emma Sky fell, fell victim to an unfortunate series of events. My favorite book. <laughs> it's a pretty good book series. I should finish the Netflix show. Uh, who would want to help her more than her own sister, Lana? And as for Chief Gant, he would also have a reason to help Lana if she asked him to. That reason, of course, is self-profit. Self-profit? What do you mean? After the Sline incident was resolved, Lana Sky was appointed Chief Prosecutor at the Prosecutor's Office. The person who arranged this job change was you, Chief Gant. But how would he profit from all of this? He would be able to use the chief prosecutor as his puppet. You know, like having her rush up to the stand and scream, You can't do this, I confess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of those. Essentially, he would acquire unchecked authority over all investigations. Do you mean to tell me that despite the chief's formidable appearance, he plays with puppets? Judge. <laughs>
That was pretty stupid, Judge. Oh, wait. You must mean Puppet as in someone forced to do it, but God got you, never mind. Admit it, Chief. You assisted Lana Sky in forging evidence. Your motive? To appoint her as Chief Prosecutor so you could control her. Right, oh my boy. You have quite an imagination. Let me ask you something. What? Do you have any proof of this that I controlled Lana? <laughs> like, turns to video camera that was recording Lana going fucking ballistic 20 minutes ago? <laughs> <laughs> For example, is Lana testifying that I've done such a thing? Lana... She's keeping quiet to protect Emma. There's no way she's testifying against Gant. I'm afraid without any proof, this all amounts to nothing more than mere conjecture. Unless... That is also what happened in this incident. This incident? Which one would that be? The one we're on trial what? for! <laughs> Where am I? Of course I'm talking about... The detective of Bruce Goodman who was murdered. Nice save. <laughs> the chief prosecutor has been acting strange throughout this entire trial. Almost as if someone has been controlling her. Worthy. You'd better watch your tongue, lest it wind up on the floor. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. I'm not evil. Just what do you mean? I'm not evil. Oh, okay. What he okay, means, that makes perfect Your Honor, sense. <laughs> is that Chief Gan is involved in the murder of Detective Goodman. Not only that, but the Chief is now making is now making Lana take the rap to cover up his involvement. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Order, order, order. I said order. Mr. Wright, you, you can't be serious. Huh? Th this, this is an affront to the highest ranking officer in a law enforcement agency. To choose the chief of police of blackmail and murder. That, that's uh, 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 impossible. Really not. Eh, I literally like just point at Gant and Gant does the fucking tie adjusting animation and the judge is like, oh yeah, that no that. Oh well, well I may be. Your Honor, I'm, I was merely just said reiterating I'm what Mr. Edwards said in his easier in easier to understand language. Like just pinning it on Edwards again. <laughs> he said everything. It's too late, Mr. Wright. Um. There's no turning back for us now. It looks like he's the one who's decided to go through with this. Can you prove this, Mr. Bright? That the chief, a high-ranking officer of the law, is involved in this murder? Yes! Yes, I can! Good Bullshit. question. No, it's the fucking, <laughs> the fucking ID card reader thing. Regardless of his rank or title, Chief Gant is just a man. What is a man? What is a man but a miserable pile of electrons? <laughs> but <laughs> but to manipulate. Is he a criminal? I something. Oh. I see. All right then. Let's see what Mr. Wright's got, and it better be good. So this is evidence that ties Chief Gant to the murder of Detective Goodman. This is ID card list. Yes, the one that shows who entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. There was one ID card on the list we couldn't determine the owner of yesterday. Seven sevens. Sorry, but there's no way you can prove that's my card number. It's your number. <laughs> and he's like, um... <laughs> <laughs> no! How do you know that? The safe in Chief Gant's office requires a code to open. A seven-digit code. Seven digits? You don't mean... I'm afraid so, Your Honor. The code was seven sevens. The same as the remaining ID card number on that list. Chief Gant. Oh! Oh, oh my god. He's gonna murder me through the computer screen. <laughs> check that he Chief Gant, out. you entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. Like, I don't know, that's really dumb on his part. <laughs> order! Order! 
Chief Gant, what do you have to say? Nothing. The defense's search of my office was in violation of regulations. And I will demand Mr. Wright be punished to the maximum extent of the law. Oh. As much as possible. But right now, this court demands an explanation from you. About the use of this ID card. <laughs> so pissed off! Chief Gant, do you admit it? You entered the evidence room. On the day of the crime. What about it? I'm chief of police. Whether it's the evidence room or the bathroom. What's the difference? I can go anywhere I want. <laughs> Ew. I don't like the implications of that. <laughs> Especially in Mr. Wright's office when I'm done with him. Well then tell me. When you entered the room, were you alone? I always go to the bathroom alone, as I do with the evidence room. He shits in the evidence room? Can't believe it. <laughs> I was about to say, it's really gross. Detective Goodman wouldn't have happened to be with you that day, would he? Uh, of course not. Why would he be? I hadn't seen him in days. Not. I'm you not. I hadn't evil. seen him in days. Chief Kid, I'm afraid you just undone yourself. On that day, you had to have met with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? This child's purpose is to determine Lana Sky's guilt. No, it isn't, Your Honor. This trial's purpose is to determine the truth. If Chief Gant met the victim on the day of the crime, then we would need to determine one thing. What transpired during that meeting? In that case, Mr. White, I'm going to have to ask you for evidence. Show us proof that the victim went to meet Chief Gant on the day of the crime. Dude, I don't fucking know. Was it this? No, I don't think so. Well then why well why did he have this note? That was an that was an Edward's trunk. So Right, but it's the victim's memo. <sighs> right? Like it seem like it seems like 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 I'm thinking that well, I mean I haven't looked at anything else, but I'm thinking that it might be this because this might have been Gant being like, Hey, come to the evidence room and find this. I think that's it. It seems kind of ambiguous. That proves that Edgeworth met Gant. I don't know. What proves that they met that day? Wait, go back to the second page. Uh. Screw What about the. What about. I don't know. Lost item for it. Because he lost his ID and had to get a new one. Or wanted to, anyway. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what did that just say? Can only be submitted to the Chief of Police. Oh, 221. Oh. Well, it's, well, it says can only be submitted to. Yeah. So he, so he, so he made, so he started making one, fucked up the number, crumpled it up, and then made a real one and gave it to the Chief of Police. So I think it's this. Go for it. Maybe. Let's see. We got but five also, Damn it. Oh, wait. No, this is good. Does Edward Goodman That's lost correct. his ID on the day of the crime? Or, to be more accurate, Jake Marshall stole it. So, Detective Goodman filled out a lost item report. He would have had to give that report to the chief of police. Yet, you were in possession of the report. Which means you can't be sure if he filled it. Filed it. He filed it. How do I know, you ask? Because he needed to enter the evidence room that day. He needed to. Yes, to transfer the evidence out. Oh. Detective Goodman took uh, took the form to you, Chief Gant. Then you you accompanied the detective to the evidence room. I accompanied him. There is no other way the murderer and the de the murderer and Detective Goodman could have entered the room. Hold on. Let me guess what you're going to say next. The next line is, "I, the chief of police, murdered poor Goodman." Exactly. But wait. 
The chief didn't necessarily need to accompany them to the evidence room. You could have just lent him his ID card. Yes. Now that you mention it, I believe I might have done something of the sort. Shut the fuck up, Judge. <laughs> Sorry, but that's not possible. According to the record, your card was only used once. Yet you showed us your ID card earlier. If you had really lent it to Detective Goodman, it would have been found on his body. Oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> he really is a lightning demon! <laughs> Sorry, I overcharged there for a second. You, you didn't. Uh, I'm filled the with electrical rage. Was most likely a spur of the moment crime for uh, no one in their right mind. Would have chosen the police department as a place to commit the murder. Say right. Care to take some of the spare electricity I have? <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you a hug. About 600,000 volts. After the murder, you contacted Lana at the prosecutor's office. Why? To dispose of Detective Goodman's body, of course. You're forgetting, Mr. Wright. But the victim's body was discovered in the prosecutor's office parking lot. How did he manage to move it there? I was at the police department the entire day, you know. And everyone's aware that Lana stayed at the prosecutor's office after the ceremony. Everyone except me, it seems. Still, you're the chief of police. You have an entire police force at your disposal. An entire force of Kermits. <laughs> so, so you think I just ordered a Kermit to do it? Hey you, take this here dead body over to the prosecutor's office. I don't think so. They can't even lift a dead body. Chief Gant, you left all the evidence we need to prove how you moved the body to the prosecutor's office. And all this time, I thought it was just a useless coup, clue just taking up space. How could the chief have moved the body? Mr. Bright, show us this evidence. To move the victim body, Chief Gant, you... Where's Edgeworth? You just use him. Yeah. <laughs> this is how he moved the Detective Goodman's body. Is that a screwdriver? But what does this have to do with the case? Mr. Edgeworth, think back to the day of the crime. What is this screwdriver doing here? It's here because... Uh... I was asked to go by Chief Gant, no less. He told me he wanted to keep it here in the process. Oh, that was in the past. Then. <laughs> <laughs> After the ceremony ended that day, I didn't plan to return to the prosecutor's office. But you did, because Chief Gant asked you to. You mean I. I. The body was found in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. I think it's obvious what happened. The body was moved by that car. Detective Goodwin's body was carried in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car? Yes. Unless, of course, you have another explanation, Chief. Why else would you have asked Edward to transport evidence from a closed case? There's only one plausible explanation. To transport the body to your accomplice, Miss Lana Sky. Feels weird, because we in real life we could have just checked her phone records. <laughs> order, order, order. What's going on here? Is there no room for rebuttal to the defense's outrageous accusation? Think back to the photograph Miss Starr took at the prosecutor's office. This was not a photo of a body being stuffed in the trunk to be taken away. It was exactly the opposite. It is a photo of the body being taken from the trunk. Chief Gant, please say something. I believe... Your time's up. It's 12 o'clock. I'm about to end. say, I think that's literally perfect. <laughs> time's up. All right, well, unfortunately, we'll resume this next time. Uh, wow. Unfortunately, we do have one more. Uh, we do have one more episode left, but 
I'm assuming that means we'll have a big tail end at the end of tomorrow's episode so we can just talk about the game and look at the new tier list and stuff. Okay. All right. I think we oh, have... Uh, co oh, yeah, because we have all the new people that have introduced this case, so I think I can finish the tier list for tomorrow if I want to. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, unless some groundbreaking lore comes up at the end of next trial, in which case I'll adjust. <laughs> I, I do, obviously you're going to have to send me that list so that way I can put it into the OBS so it can be on stream and I promise I won't edit it at all I won't make any last minute so additions so believable <laughs> Wink. just like every time Chief Kent says he's not evil I believe it wholeheartedly <laughs> I'm not going to edit this picture <laughs> All right. I'll, uh, I'll send it to you like at the end of the stream tomorrow what, end of the stream? I'll send it to you, like, after we finish the game tomorrow. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Alright. Good night, everybody. Good, Good night. night. Good night.